Hello, gorgeous, gorgeous darlings, and welcome to part two of the Paws and Claws Veterinary. And welcome to Let's Build the World. <laughs> that was a bit of a rushed one today, wasn't it? I've got my glasses on today because I'm very fucking tired. I got rudely awoken this morning at quarter to seven in the morning by the delivery drivers. Um, I had my new armchair get delivered today. I'm in love with it. If you want to see what it looks like, go and follow my Instagram because I put a picture up earlier. So it was a good way to be tired, but I'm fucking knackered. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to flop on a pair of glasses today and just, I can see. I can actually see, sort of. A bit hazy still because I'm that tired. Why, why, am I, why am I describing all of that? Why am I like this? Why am I like this? But anyway, hello. We're going to be back. To, we're back today. And we are going to be carrying on with the set. The veterinary. 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 Such a hard word to say that one. We're going to do more exterior changes today. We've got the back garden areas to do. I've done a little bit of work off of cam. So such a professional YouTuber. Really, I'm going to put some um, lip balm on while I'm talking to you. If you want to know what it is, it's called the O'Keefe's Lip Repair. I'm not sponsored or anything, but if you would like to sponsor me, Keith. <laughs> Keith. Imagine a baby called Keith. Weird, isn't it? Anyway, what we're going to do today is carry on with the back garden area. More exterior changes. We might get into like the reception area and stuff, but I think there's going to be one more final part after this. So this will probably be a three-parter. Because tomorrow we're going to be starting building the Weasley's Burrow, my loves. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. So if you guys want some, if you guys have got any ideas on what I can call this like Harry Potter project. Uh, oh, what about the Harry Potter project? Quite a nice ring to it, actually. <laughs> Maybe we'll just call it that. But if you guys have got any other ideas, then crack on and let me know. Let me know. But that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Um, And I think without further ado, let's stop waffling on and putting on lip balm. And get into building okay you beauties so here we are back at the paws and claws paws and claws veterinary veg veterinary um <laughs> we're going to be as i said making more exchanges to the exterior i don't know what this is going on here it's something from the tool mod something's not working there i reckon that will disappear once i come in and out of the lot so you don't need to worry about it too much um what details did i do obviously i plopped in some of like these little bushes in the front a little bench here also a little bin next to the bench and just to tie it in with the other side of the lot i did another little flower bed here which i might do on the clothing store that we're going to do over there as well just again to tie the street in together nicely i think that works really nice and i love the way that you can look down that whole bit if you know what i mean you can see right through which i definitely want to make apparent here as well just so it like marries it in blends it in with the lot um, I've put some more details around the top area here. Uh, ignore this little crisscross bit here. We're just going to say that was a fault when the builder did it. It couldn't help it. Once again, just to like blend in with this shape over here. Um, I've also choose, chosen all of the wall, the flooring or the, the roof tiles, shall we say. Weirdly, for some reason. Oh, it's not doing it anymore. Oh, it is. Yeah, things are disappearing through here. I think it's just on the actual... Um, it wasn't, it, I swear to God, it was just disappearing earlier. And now it works. Of course it does. Because why? Because Sims. That's why. Uh, I've also put these little awnings on these modern window parts here. Uh, and I also changed the shape of this here a little bit. Having two doors kind of stuck on like this flat surface. It was just looking weird to me. So I kind of bumped them out and gave them their own little moment. Use the doors here from Dine Out. Are they from Dine Out? Uh, yeah, they are. Use these doors here from Dine Out, but I also put the base game window above it just so it kind of stretched it and made it look lovely. Uh, I've also chosen the wallpapers and the flooring in the Airbnb upstairs. So if you remember, this is going to be... Oh, I haven't done a door here. We might need one there, Aiden. So this is their entrance up to here. Little hallway, toilet, bedroom, living area, kitchen. So it might be a living area slash dining area. I might do that, actually. Uh, and then they've got their own balcony space out here too, which we're going to make into like a nice rooftop garden, I think. Very much for that. And the same with downstairs as well. So we're going to go for a little bit of pop of colour in here. A little, blue, little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow here and there. 
Uh, so I've chose this carpet, which was from university, I think. Um, so this we're going to start on this today, hopefully, if we can get there. And also, what a few of you guys said, why don't you do like a little kennel area for where the dogs have to stay overnight, even though that doesn't really happen in The Sims 4. I thought that would be quite good. So I got rid of one of the surgery things. We'll just have one of them over this side. And I popped it in this side here. Um, so we can make a little, maybe just with a few beds or something. I don't know. I have no idea. And what else did we do? Nothing much, apart from like chose all the wallpapers and stuff, really. Uh, I also used these windows here. The ones with like the mirror on the outside. So the dogs won't get embarrassed when their pasties are being shown to everybody. Because we don't want embarrassed dogs or cats. Um, but yes, that's what is happening. So today, what we're going to do, I want this garden to be kind of separated off. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I might do like a half wall or something here. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably will do that. Just to separate this garden off. So one of, one of the sides is going to be like a memoriam garden. I might do like a little walkway with some flowers and then a little statue of the cats and dogs and that on it. And then the other side, I want like an exercise yard for the dogs. Um, so that's what we're going to do today, darlings. And that is where we're going to start right now, I think. So here we go. Here we bloody go. How are you all doing anyway? I hope you're good. I really do. I, I mean it every time I say that. I really, really hope you're doing well. Uh, let's get rid of this first. Let's get rid of this. Because it's, I think it might be a bit difficult popping on a half wall in between here. Or not a half wall as such. We might just separate off with a fence. Be honest with you to be honest with you i think that's what we're gonna do i can't i drop the foundation oh sims sort your shit out i'm fed up <laughs> i'm fed up <laughs> i honestly am though <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna be able to, i know i will i should say i don't think i'm gonna be able to go in the middle there but i think i will and i think i'm gonna use the same fence oh it's gonna clip onto that bloody Oh, do you know what I'm going to do there? I'm going to put a hedge there or something then. Maybe I could separate off, rate it off with a hedge instead of using the fence then. That could be a good shout. Let's have a look, darling, shall we? Maybe we could use the absolute hedge of dreams. Hide max. No, I don't want to hide max this. I want live edit and debug, darling. Um, That's not the hedge of dreams, but I don't mind this one too. Oh, this could work. This could work. If I can pop one there. And then one there. Just, this is just primarily to stop the dogs from running into the memoriam garden bit. I think this is where the, the owners would come to maybe just grieve a lost pet or... Oh, oh heartbreaking, but it does happen. Um, So maybe we're going to do that. I might have to go underneath here with that kind of like hazard fence to stop them from coming in. But I'll probably do that now. I'll do it in the grey so we can't really see it too much. And then I'll pop it like that. Oh, stunning. You can hardly see that. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that would work, actually. And then I'll do, like, a little tree or something. Or a plant either side here, just to frame that in nicely. I need to burp. One second. There we go. Burp has been done. It's been had. And I, while I was burping, I, <laughs> I pulled out this little, like, um, grave thing. It's like the Tomb of the Unknown Papa. I thought we'd make this into, like, a little memorial garden kind of thing hopefully this will lift up perfectly without having to use the tool mod um i wanted to put this on top here just to see how that would work the dog and the cat oh that looks lovely yeah we're gonna do that i might move it in just one more though and then pop you there my darling yes yes i think we'll do that that's nice that's very nice indeed now i want to do like a pathway like a nice little like windy path with some flowers either side and then maybe a couple of benches like here and here just for them to sit down and reflect you know on pets that have passed oh it's very sad but i think it would it's just a cute idea for in here to be honest with you that's what we're going to do that is what we're going to do i don't know what i always go for this one here so maybe a gravel path actually would look quite nice i always go for this one as well but i just like them you know i don't think oh, i'll do gravel right up to it and then I'll wind it around, leaving enough space like either side for some foliage. For some nice... Fo oh, God, that was a bit excessive, that bend there. Just for some... Oh, I can do it better without the grid on. Just for some nice foliage either side 
Again, with maybe the benches that I said as well. Yes, let's get this nice, smooth, windy line going in. Oh, I'm for that. I really am. And I might do some hedge or hedges here. Yes. So then I'll connect this in there to there. There we go. And do I want to put a fence on top of this? I think I do. I think I want to put a little cheeky fence on top of this. Maybe, oh, maybe this. No, absolutely not. That doesn't make sense anyway, Aiden, you silly bum. So, no, everything's going to be too chunky on this. I hate the way that the fences like sit on top of platforms and foundations. Winds me up no end. Really does. Absolutely winds me up. And don't fuss with me today, darling, because I have not had much sleep. <laughs> I have not had much sleep and I'm not for it. <laughs> but as I said, it was worth it. It was worth not having the sleep. Especially when you get a sexy piece of furniture at the end of it. Um, and I was too excited to go back to sleep then. I was like, oh, maybe I could go back and just get another like hour or so sleep. Because I usually get up about 8 o'clock anyway. I couldn't. I was too excited. I was like, I want to go downstairs and sit on my new chair. To be honest with you. <laughs> so I did. I ate my breakfast on it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that bit was about, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to square that off then, to be honest with you. Let's just square this off. All the way along to there like that. And then we can put a bench either side here. Yes, that would be nice. Oh, the only problem is, ah, oh, you bastard. You bastard. What I'm going to do instead then. Can I like, ah, there we go. I'm going to put soil here. Like here. Dark soil, darlings. I'm not going to put the soil by the tomb itself though. I'm going to keep the tomb with a bit of gravel in front of it. I think it would just make sense doing it that way. And then under here like that. Under the actual tomb itself. All the way along and then what i'm going to do is put up a nice little fence um just a little one yeah like one of these we'll do it in a silver as well just to match him with the color palette that we've got going on yes yes i do enjoy that that's rather lovely okay we're gonna find some nice benches i'm unsure what benches to put out here to be honest with you i think these might work really nicely out here Oh, I like that colorway out here. Let's get rid of that grid. I liked that colorway out here then. I really, oh, I also like that one. No, we're going to go for this one. We're going to go for this one. One there. One there. Let's move you chuffing into the middle though, darling. And let's push you right up against the wall. There we go. The same this side too. Oh, that one there is up against the fence. Oh, it's cutting in slightly there, though. Let's pull that out. I know someone would have shit their knickers if they, if I left it like that. Yes. Yes, that's nice. And I think we'll just soil this whole area and get loads of landscaping in. So let's do that. Let's fucking do it, darlings. I'm going to flop you into there, sweetie. All the way along. I don't, well, we won't be able to fence this area in because we can't really do curved fences around this fence, um, around the pathway, but... Maybe I could line it with something. Or maybe not. You know? Maybe not. I'm just going to do this just so it makes me feel better. There we go. All the way along. Lovely. And then go back to your terrain painting. And all the way along. I feel like Bob Ross, darlings, today. I really do. Just had to check up his recording then. Oh, that would have been it. I would have cancelled today if I wasn't recording. <laughs> no, not doing it. Absolutely not doing it. Pissed off. I'm not pissed off at all. I'm not. I'm just tired. I don't know if I've said this video, but I'm just tired. I'm just very, very tired. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. Yes. Yes, all the way along. Oh, I can see you. I don't like the cut of your jib, love. There we go. Oh, I'm for it. I'm just going to neaten this up slightly now. There we are. Around there. Gorgeous. And then also that bit there needs to be soiled too. I'm going to soil it. And then what I'm going to do once I've put all this down, I'm going to go in and grab an array of plants and we'll start placing them around together. Yes, we will. So we're going to go for like a blue vibe out here, I think. A very nice blue vibe. So I've pulled out all of these from live edit. Also this tree here, I just think it would be nice to have like a little shaded area over the bench while they reflect um, 
So that's what we're doing. I do want a pop of pink, though. I did pull out a pink flower, but now I can't bloody see it. Where have you gone? Where has that pink flower of dreams gone? Oh, I don't know where it is. It's called Passion, I think. Passion's Kiss. <gasps> Sounds wonderful. Yes. We have a pop of pink in here as well. I think that would work really well. So that's what we're going to do. Right. So I'm going to use a mixture of both of these. So I'm going to pop you there. See where my eye takes me, where I think it should, where we should put some of the bulbous looking ones. <laughs> bulbous. What a word. Absolutely bulbous. Right. We'll do that there. A bit more under the tree over there. A bit more height at the back there. Um, We'll go one more there. And then I think I'm going to add one of these big boys on the end over here. It's not poking through anywhere, is it? No. No, it's not. Right. We're going to have a big passion's kiss there. One passion's kiss at the back there. Um, I'm going to size you down now. Do another one there. Another one over here as well. There we go. And then maybe just one next to it, but smaller. A bit more far forward. Stunning. And then these these little iris flowers I thought would look really cute. Just going skirting around the edge of it in places. Absolutely for that. I really am. Oh, yes. Yeah, I like mixing these flowers together. They look nice. You need to go further in, love. Around there. You need to go further in, sweetie. And then you can come around to here. There we go. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, oh, Christ. Ah. <laughs> How far did we go out then? We were gone, weren't we? We were absolutely gone. Yes, that's nice. That is nice. And then I need to get some more of these. We're going to go behind here with these, I think. I'm going to do one there. And then... Oh, please don't be going indoors. It's not. That's right. And then some more passion. Some more passion, please. And I'll uniform this little area up a little bit, actually, I think. To make it look a little bit less natural than the uh, the rest of it. I'll put another one down there. And another one on this side. And I think I'll frame just the edges here with some iris. Just around maybe a bit more there. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I do like a bit of landscaping in The Sims. I don't mind it IRL as well, but it's, it's just very much hard work. Whereas in The Sims, it's not, you know? Yeah, that's cute. That's what I wanted. Just that little feel of somewhere to come and sit and reflect and comfort each other. I'm full that. I really am. Right, let's get a bit of lighting. A bit of lighting going on in here. I want some outdoor lights. Let's get rid of debug and live edit. And I just want some of these little numbers. Um, do I want to use like these maybe? Uh, I think they need to be dark. Yeah. Yes, we do. Let's get into nighttime so we can see what we're doing. One there. One there. One here. Two on this side. One there. And one there. And then I think where the irises are, I'm going to put two there and there. Oh, I'm for it. I really am. I do think we need to clamber some ivy up the walls. And I think I'll just use the university ivy, as in this one here, ye old university. Now, not to be mistaken, this was not from the university, but this was from, like, get together. I think this was the first ever ivy we got properly in the game. I think it was, you know. Um, yeah, I do. <gasps> oh, yeah, maybe we'll some flowers. Not blue, though. I think pink. We'll, we'll clamber a bit more pink flowers up in the same back here as well. I'll clamber some pinkage up the back and let's snuggle some ivy around that as well. There we go. That looks too uniform there for me. So I'm going to clamber some more of that up on one side just so it's a bit more asymmetric, a bit more natural. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and I don't think I'm going to do any border with the um, flower beds now. I think they look nice as it is, to be honest with you. That's what we're going to do. What we need out here is a light. And I think I'll put in a security light. One there. Let me see if that's going to look weird. Nope, that looks perfect. And one there. And then I want to put a little plant in this corner here as well. Um, just here. 
just around there. I don't know what though, so let me find one. Okay, I just used these base game planters, but I put some lavender in them just to like break it up a little bit. And I thought that was nice. I thought it was nice. I'm going to go for it. So put a fence here as well. We're off to the kind of dog exercise yard, I would say. So I want to primarily leave this mostly grass. I think that would, the dogs would benefit from that, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do is just put some of maybe this in the smallest and just frame the edges of the foundation again just to make sure that make it look like the house isn't just sitting on top of soil I wonder why it's not a house but the building the building itself so it's not sitting on top of soil I'll put that all the way around like so and then I'll just frame in the edges with this here but get that softness up there darling and then flop this all the way around the sides as well just so you don't get that harsh line between the grass and the rock I think it always works and you've seen me do this countless amount of times and it just it makes me feel happy it makes me feel like Bob Ross and we all would like to feel like Bob Ross every now and again you know you know that's what we're gonna do okay so we need maybe the dog agility stuff so I'm gonna pull out a few bits and bobs and we're gonna start placing it around the garden Let's get started. I've pulled a few things out. I don't think I'm going to do a full agility course out here. I think I'm going to put some trees in instead, just so they've got places to cock their legs and go toilet. Same with the cats as well. We needed to get a cat litter box out because I think one of you guys said, like, whenever you go to the vets, the cats have not gotten anywhere to go toilet. So I thought, you know what, let's get out some cat litter trays here and obviously some food bowls as well. I've also put a gate here an exit way from the exercise yard just in case they want to walk in a bit further on this little grassy bit here they've got that option too then you know and it would probably be a good way for fire exit too so i might have to do like a fire exit sign up there as well just for realism purposes you know so first things first i think what i'm going to do actually is put the food stations up here i'm going to do two food stations one there one there and one there how dare you not give me a bowl? Who said you could do that? They have got somewhere to eat. And we'll just pretend that they've got somewhere to drink here as well with these ones. So I'll pop one there and one there. I know they're not going to be able to get and use that one, but we're just going to pretend that they can. I wonder if I could move this along slightly, actually. Yeah, I think I could. I think they would be still be able to use this. It should be able to. We'll test it anyway before it goes up on the gallery. Okay, we've got that. We now need a place for the cats privately to have a private poo so i think what i'm gonna do is do a little moment like this and then maybe hedge in this area so it's kind of separated from the dogs running around like nut nutters just so that it doesn't get the cat scared we don't want that darlings we don't want the cats getting scared what i'll do is do that little moment there and they've got their own little personal poo area then haven't they <laughs> <laughs> I think we're thinking a bit too far into this, to be honest. But I'm for it, to be honest. I really am. Really am for it. I don't like how uniform this hedge looks. So I'm going to break it up by using some of these on it. Just so it looks a little bit more organic. Organic. <gasps> Orgasmic. You know, it could be the one, really. Really could. Thank you guys as well, all of you guys that came to the stream last night. It was so much fun. So much fun chatting around with you all. Um, we did. We do have a blast. We really do. Uh, and it was nice to try. We're, we're doing James and Lily's house on Twitch. Um, if you guys really want to watch that, you can head over to Twitch and watch that stream back. You can do that with all my streams. They last for like 60 days, I think the streams last for. So that's like two months. Two months of time that you can go over and watch whatever you want whatever i've streamed for free as well there's no charge there but the choice is yours my darlings yeah that's better yeah just hides it in a little bit i might do a little bit more here to be honest in fact i'm going to do a big one just in case the the cat get a bit poo sh the cats get a bit poo shy you know we don't want that we don't want the cats getting poo shy right so we've got the dog toys i'm going to pop the dog toys down there and I know this isn't cat toys, but I thought maybe they could, like, it kind of looks like it. The stuff that they could, like, jump up and play with. 
So I'm going to put them on the on the wall there. You know, it just adds something, I think. Right, okay. What I need to do here is also... Oh, not you. I need to put that just along there. So it doesn't look weird. That. And then again, with you just there as well, darling. And I'm going to use this around here anyway. Uh, can I put that? No, that needs to stay there. Okay. What I want to do is just make it look like the dogs have all... Oh, let's get that. No, do you know what? I can work with that softness. It's fine. Just to make it look like this is where the dogs have been running and playing around. You know, it's all about those little details, loves. It really is. So this garden kind of like chewed up by claws and paws and feet. But that's what I want. And then I'm going to put two trees in here as well. I think that will kind of blend in quite nicely. Same under here too. You can hear my clicky clicky mouse. Because I'm clicking it. It is because I'm clicking it. There we go. Yes. Yeah, that looks natural enough, I think. Maybe a bit more there. A bit more there as well. Just a cheeky bit there. One there and two there. One, two. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And as I said, we're going to do some a couple of trees. I don't know what trees to use. So let me grab some. I think to fit in with the surrounding areas, I'm going to use the same trees that I've used on the other side use these ones over here and i'm just going to plonk them into little areas like that the dogs have got somewhere to cock their legs it doesn't look natural being like there so i'm gonna put you like there not that it needs to look natural but yes that's nice a bit of terraining underneath of that as well um do i want to put a rock underneath that no i don't think i do i'll do like a little bit of long grass though just under just by the tree so the dogs can get their noses right in and have a good sniff for it. And then I'm just going to land um, terrain paint underneath of it as well. Yes, I am indeed. Just underneath of there like that. Yeah, that is exactly what I wanted. And I think I'm going to add in a few more of these security lights out here. Let me just see the light that these will give off. Because they would need, need to be exercised at all hours of the day or night yeah that's cute and i think what i need is a security camera at the back here main reasons being you don't want any nasties coming in and stealing dogs do you so i'm gonna put one up there i don't think we'll put one on the other side we'll just keep that one up there so it's always got got its watch on the back gate area yeah that's cute that's exactly what i wanted that is exactly what i wanted with that okay Okay, stunning, stunning. I think what we'll do is carry on with the exterior out here. I want to do a few more details. I want to do some benches in here. And I think I might use these same benches here. One of these. And I'm going to try and kind of like just make this look a little bit more lived in. I'm thinking about getting these signs up here. I think I can do that by typing in flesh, which I'm going to do. Flesh, there we go. Um... And I'll put one of these, like, oh no, I do one either side. Is there no other ones? Maybe not. There is, but not with fesh. I think there's some other decorations of them. But where are you, darling? Here we go. There's one with a shrimp on it. I'm going to pop a shrimp one right next to it. <laughs> pop a shrimp one right there. We're going to get another bin as well. Come here, darling. I'm going to flop you in between both of the benches. Is that equal? It's not. That needs to be in further. Yeah, that's cute. That is cute. And I want like a signage up here. Oh, do you know what I'm going to put up there? Let me find that actually, because I think it would really work. Just a little bit of advertising. And it's advertising for the new circus that's coming to town called the Bazaar. They say they're from Strangerville, but who can say? You'll have to go and watch my Strangerville videos to find out. <laughs> Goodness sake, Caden. What are you like, love? What are you like? Right, let's get the slabs in there as well. Lovely. Yeah, that just gives it a bit more detail around there now. I'm for it. I really am. And then what I'm going to do here is do my good old favorite welcome mat, which is this one here. I'll pop you there. And I think I'm going to do a post box here. Um, What do you guys call it? Mailbox. And I think we'll just use the wall one on the side here. Uh. 
There we go. Just on the side for the Airbnb lot. Yeah, I'm liking it. Liking it and feeling it. Um, don't want to do anything around here. I don't think I do. I like how that area looks, to be honest with you. I think what we need to do is add in some, like, drains and stuff. So, storm drain in misc decorations. Oh, damn it. Let me find it. There it is. So we're going to flop you just on the edge here. On there. Yes. And then we'll do one on the other side as well, just around here. Oh, is that going to lift up on the platform? No, it's not. Not if you place it right. There we go. A couple of storm drains. Don't worry, that will disappear. I just think I've got to reload the lot and come back in again. I think I'm going to do another one on this side as well. Another one on this side. And we'll pop you around there, love. Yes, we will indeed. Yeah. Yeah, but I do, do you know what I think it needs on here is a street lamp. Now, I can't remember the, for the life of me where to find this one here. Um the same one here so i'm good oh there it is <laughs> that took ages to find that absolutely ages <laughs> no no one asked you to float darling stop embarrassing yourself right, let's bring you down oh you're still floating well do you know what i'm going to sort you out i'm going to use the tool grab it and then do a 0.02 i think let's, oh maybe another maybe another minus 0.02 then it's still floating. I can see it. I can see it floating and it's very annoying. Um, I'm going to do another one then. 0.02. There we go. There we go. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then shift and T to get out of that. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, that just adds a little bit more detail on that side then. And it also lights it with a, with a nice glow. Ooh, one would look great there as well. I think I'm going to do one there too. So we're going to have to use the bloody tool mod. So it's a 0.06 we need to pop it down with. If I can pop you like there. Will that be eating in anywhere? Oh, it kind of is, look. So if I move you just to around about there, that will probably di disappear. I can feel it now. Um, You, and then elevate to a minus 0.06. There we go. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Yeah, that's worked for me. That's very much worked. Okay, and I think to finish off today, what I'm going to do is just decorate this um, balcony area. Now, I don't really want to put too much up here, but I think the best things in life are free. I didn't mean to go into a song then, but I did. I think the best thing to do up here would be just to put some nice planters. Um, I don't know where to find them. The, like, long base game boys. Oh, there they are. Yeah, these here. Should I do them like... Oh, could I like hang it over the edge? Nah, nah. I do want to use these though. So I'm going to pop you there. Pop you there. I think these just get kind of watered. Or do I want to put them like right up to the window? Look. Nah, I prefer them at the front, I think. Yeah, we'll do that at the front. And then there is a smaller version of it. But oh, God, I, think I don't know where that is. I don't know where anything is today, including my sanity. Because I don't know if you know, guys, but I'm very tired today. <laughs> very, very tired. Let's do these. Let's put these up on the windows here, here, and here. Oh, stunning. I'm not going to do the um, outside balcony area. I think we'll wait until we go inside and furnish the um, residential bit. But, um... Yeah, we'll do that another time. I'm going to flop these around here as well. And they, we can just pretend those are sash windows and water them. All they have to do is whiffle up the window and put put them on. Put some water on them. Okay. Yeah, I think we're done today, my loves. So the exterior is done. I like how the exterior looks. I think it's really settled into the landscape now. Yeah, I like that. And obviously we've got the, the memoriam reflection garden going on out here. Would have been nice if we had a little fountain out here, actually. Maybe we'll put a fountain out here. I can imagine some tranquil water sounds would be lush. I think the only one that's going to primarily fit out here is this one. Even though that's kind of massive as well. But I could tuck it in there, can I? Yes, in that sandy colour. We'll pop that there. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm for it. 
And then obviously the little exercise yard. The poos and peas and walks and whatnot. With a little cat a little cat toilet. <laughs> That's so funny. Little cat toilet. So yes, I'll be back on Monday with this. We will crack on with the exterior. We'll we'll probably furnish the actual veterinary on Monday. And then on Tuesday, what we'll do is come up and do the residential bit as well. So but yes done my darlings it's done there we go my loves all done with part two of the paws and claws veterinary we're going to be back with this as i said on monday um and we'll crack on with a bit more of the interior and stuff then too yes i'll be back tomorrow with the first part of the weasley's burrow build which i'm very excited for so yes very excited for it very excited for that. As I said, if you've got any ideas on what you think this series should be called, let me know. But I'm thinking Harry Potter Project probably sounds about right. I think we're going to do that, maybe. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think. So I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching. Get some lovely comments down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.